Mr. Gatsby, you may proceed. Mrs. Disbeliever, now you said that you saw my client in her classroom. Yes, that is correct. Wait, what is correct? Did you see my client in her classroom, yes or no? Yes, I saw her. No, wait, wait, wait. You do not try to confuse the jury. I simply ask for a yes or no answer. I object your honor. To what? To the line of questioning. It is confusing and irrational. Objection denied. Must I remind you that this is a trial court and not a grammar school? And you, may simplify your questions. Where is, where, where, what are you taking it to? Yes, my lord, I understand. Um, I shall not repeat it. So, what is it? Yes or no? Yes. Very good. And, um, well, where were you? Were you inside or, you know, outside the classroom? Very good. And um, what angle were you to the door? I object, Your Honor. To what? To the line of questioning. It is confusing and irrational. Objection denied. Must I remind you that this is a trial court and not a math school? And you simplify your questions even further. You're confusing me as well. Oof. Yes, my lord. I I shall remember that. So, um, like the rainbow makes an angle with the ground, the same way the door made an angle with you? I guess so. And I did the body by the Wait, wait. How can you be so sure? I mean, um, you know, were you carrying a protractor? No, but I was. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, I didn't see this, so I cannot say anything. So, I mean, let's take it that you didn't have a protractor. So you cannot say for certain that you were standing at an angle of, you know, 45 degrees or 47 degrees or even 50 degrees, am I right? I object, Your Honor. And what is it this time? Look, if you have objected for a, for a cheap reason, I swear you're going to come to my chamber and meet me later on. Get this over with, man. I've got my wife. I have to show her the rainbow, huh? To this ridiculous analogy being drawn, I mean, and I don't even see relevance in it. Objection overruled. The witness shall ask the question. Yes. And you, you shall see me in my chamber later on, okay? And you, where is this all heading, huh? You see, my lord, you understand. Am I right? Well, that's all, your honor. I have no more questions to ask this witness. Are you sure about that? Yes, Your Honor. I am as sure as my client is that God sent the rainbow as a promise to never flood the earth ever again. How can you be so sure that it is your client who mentioned this to her students and that she is on the trial right now? How dare you draw conclusions? This is my job and I shall do it, not you. But... How can you be so certain anyway? He wants me to do his job. Well, Your Honor, it's simple. She denies my client's claim when she herself, being a woman of science, is not certain of a simple calculation herself. Hmm. Point me. You, you may call on your witness. Thank you. I call upon Miss Believer. So, did you tell the students that God created rainbow as a symbol of good life and of his promise never to flood the earth again? Yes, I did. And I won't call you my lord because I have only one lord and you aren't that one. Miss Believer, you do not tell us what to do in our court or you, you may have to say your prayers that you don't have to go to prison, alright? <laughs> so, Miss Believer, then are you trying to say that whatever our science books say and what all our great scientists have discovered is all wrong? Not all wrong, but the rainbow theory is wrong. <laughs> do you even know what science says about it? Sure I do. A rainbow is an optical and meteorological phenomenon that is caused by the refraction of light and water droplets in the atmosphere. To view a rainbow, one must look, uh, one must have one's back 
face to the sun and must look uh, approximately 40 degrees above the ground into a region of the atmosphere with suspended water droplets or even light mist. It uh, usually occurs after a spell, rain spell and signifies the end of rains. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is a brilliant answer. Anyway, this proves that what you have learned science. And that whatever you have learned is scientifically proven. I object, Your Honor. And to what may I say? I am beginning to object your objections. You hear me? I am sorry, Your Honor. I object to him saying that uh, he knows what my client actually believes. Hmm. Objections sustained. You, can you ask your question in another way? I don't have any more questions, Your Honor. And why is that? He wants me to do this job. Because, Your Honor, she gave this correct scientific answer which proves that science is correct. However, I ask you that she be punished for teaching the students the wrong and irrelevant theory about the rainbow and for bringing this, her colleagues and school into disrepute. Hmm. Court is adjourned for 10 minutes before the verdict. Will the accused please stand? After much deliberation, I find the accused not guilty. However, I suggest that at her workplace, she must not preach her beliefs. And she is supposed to teach what she is employed to teach. She must also distinguish between a classroom and a church. I also believe that both science and religion say the same thing about the symbolic meaning of the rainbow and pronounce that both are right. Or dismissed.